Red to green, and we're good to go here in the men's single skulls final at the Tokyo Paralympic Rowing Regatta 2020. In lane one, up at the top of your picture there in yellow and blue, it's the outstanding favourite, Polyansky from Ukraine. In lane two, it's Brazil. There's Ben Pritchard in lane three, fourth in the world champs in 2019, an outside shout for a medal here. Eric Horry, the five-time world champion in lane four. Shmuel Daniel from Israel in lane five. And nearest your picture there in lane six, the, uh, the dark horse, if you will, Rea Munoz, the Spaniard. Nice flat start here. It's Rea Munoz who's gone out quickly. Yeah, Rea Munoz really making the most of the early stages of this race here, closest to the camera. Such an impressive performance in the repechage to qualify for this medal final. The Spanish scholar there on the left of the picture. Yeah, the field starts to fan out a little. Rea Munoz there currently leading. Uh, Polyansky just at the top of your picture there. Roman Polyansky, 34 years of age from Ukraine. He's the defending Olympic champion. He got the better of Eric Horry on uh, the Lagoon, Lagoa de Freitas in Rio de Janeiro five years ago. World champion in 2019. He's won the last two European champs as well. So he is really the athlete to beat. It was a stunning win, actually, in Rio when he, he defeated the then world champion, Horry. But it's Rea Munoz and not Horry or Pritchard at present who are closest to the Ukrainian. Polyansky has rode through Rea Munoz now. That's at 39 strokes a minute, boat speed around 13 kilometres an hour, and Polyansky's pulling out. Polyansky's been the dominant force in men's PR1 sculling in this last Paralympic cycle. Coming into this as the reigning Paralympic champion and being chased to 500 metres by the Spanish sculler, the newcomer to rowing. He switched into rowing from canoeing. 2.28.4, the time at 500 metres. So there's a lead now opening up for the Ukrainian over Rea Munoz, a gap of 1.40. We've just seen a Roman's wife, Alexandra Polyanska, out there in the mixed Cox fours for the Ukraine. Big morning for that family, but rather like Skarstein in the women's a PR1 singles, he's come into this regatta as the overwhelming favourite. It's then Trying to demonstrate exactly why won that gold medal at the Linz World Champs after back-to-back -back silvers in 2017 and 2018 at the Worlds. But really seems to have found his rhythm here. So Shmuel Daniel there in the foreground, the 36-year-old Israeli. A nice shot that brings in Eric Horry as well in the middle of your picture with four on his bow. Lane two, that's Campos Pereira, who stunned Horry in the heat. But selfishly, you want to Campos Pereira to uh, get on the podium because he promptly got up onto the pontoon, pulled out a harmonica after winning that heat, didn't he? Gave us a bit of a tune. <laughs> so, <laughs> be nice to hear that again. Yeah, maybe he's got something special saved if he gets a medal <laughs> here in this final and his certainly putting himself in touch with the possibility for that. Rayo Munoz still going really well in lane six, 47 years young from Seville. Rayo Munoz, the Spaniard. And look at the lead now, it's like watching Skarstein in the women's singles final. Polianski pulling away and uh, about to hit the mid-race mark, the 1,000 metres here in the A final in the PR1 men's single skulls ahead. It's still Real Munoz from Hori and the Brazilian Campos Pereira going well. 
the Brit Ben Pritchard out of the medal places at present. It's Polianski from Rea Munoz. The lead is just over five seconds. And then it's Horry. Eric Horry nearly, really needs a, a big second thousand here to uh, try and shout down, to try and close down Polianski. Indeed, to get up into the silver medal position. It's still Javier Rea Munoz from Spain. The style from Roman Polianski, very sharp, very aggressive, 38 strokes a minute. We just saw him glance across to his right-hand side to see how he's positioned against his competitors. And it's this man still riding in second place, Javier Reamunos of Spain. Polianski still a clear leader. So... 11 and a half kilometers an hour. Polianski, Raya Munoz up there with him in terms of boat speed. Polianski at 37 strokes a minute. Raya Munoz is still holding here. Just wondering if all that experience that he has in canoe and kayaking, he's managed to sort of adapt to the challenges and demands of being in a, a rowing boat. Some interesting comments from Rea Munoz in terms of the differences between canoe and rowing. Canoeing, he says, you're never sure you're adopting the right tactic because you can't see everyone else facing the other way, of course. In canoe, you try to lengthen the stroke to catch the water as far forward as possible. But when in rowing, going in a fixed seat, you don't use the trunk and make more use of the, the dorsals and the biceps. He's still holding second, but... Eric Horry never discount the Aussie, the five-time world champion, the 41-year-old there, born in Rotorua, New Zealand, but now a naturalised Aussie. He can be the first man, Horry, to win three medals in para rowing at the Paralympic Games. Don't think it's going to be gold, though. That's going to be going to this man, barring a, a catastrophe. Polyansky of Ukraine, who's coming up to the 1500 marker way out in front. What a lead for Polianski, and it's still Rea Munoz who's just got that advantage ahead of Hori and Campos Pereira for Brazil. It's really interesting to see that transition from canoeing into rowing with the canoe distance being just 200 metres and Rea Munoz making the transition to a 2,000 metre sport and enabling the endurance, the fitness to really shine in the second half of the race. Polianski. The uh, muscles are bulging as he finds the power to maintain this advantage in the final of the PR1 men's single skulls. Great tradition in para rowing amongst the Ukrainian athletes. Polianski, of course, won that gold on the lagoon. Five years ago in Rio, they had Alexander Petrenko, who won the silver medal in the men's singles all the way back at Beijing in 2008. Ala Lysenko won the women's singles at Eton Dorney in London 2012. Hori has risen through the field. He's come past Rea Munoz now up into the silver medal position. And there's a, a challenge as well from Campos Pereira on Rea Munoz. But Hori is striding out now up into second place. This is a move from Eric Horry now taking him up into silver medal position. Campos Pereira going with him in bronze medal position, but it's very close between the Brazilian and the Spaniard, lanes two and six respectively. But here comes Eric Horry, that experience, those years of training, enabling him to push on here in the last stages of the race. Polianski, he's in the red, boys. He knows that he's close to becoming a successful defending the Paralympic champion in the men's single skulls. There he is. Look at the lead. It's not going to be a Paralympic best time. That was 9.14 set by Ben Pritchard 24 hours ago. There's a drift to the right-hand side of the lane from Polianski, but he has plenty in reserve here. So 
Gold in Rio, gold in Tokyo, five years on for Roman Polianski in the PR1 men's single skulls. A challenge from Campos Pereira, but it's going to be a silver medal for the third Paralympics in a row for Eric Horry. Over the line in second place. And Campos Pereira for Brazil wins the bronze. Rea Munoz had a, a terrific skull there, but he couldn't hold on to the medal places. And Pritchard from Great Britain finishes down the order. Roman Polianski, a double Paralympic champion in the PR1 men's single skulls. He hit the front early and he brought it home for Ukraine. Well, Eric Horry has written a, a little bit of Paralympic history here. He's become the first man to win three medals in para rowing at the Paras. Eric Horry, second place, 10 minutes dead. And then Rene Campos Pereira, 10.03.54. Bronze for Brazil. I think we're going to be hearing the harmonica. I hope so. Well, he was imperious there. A bit like Scarfstein in the women's. Got in front early and just held it. Thirty four years of age, the Ukrainian needs a, a bigger trophy cabinet now. Chalk up another victory for Roman Polyansky. So the two time defending Paralympic champion, world champion, two time defending European champion. He's the king of the PR1 men's singles. Beautiful moment there between Polianski and Campos Pereira on the water, just congratulating each other, I imagine. Roman Polianski winning the men's singles. Eric Horry has another silver. Rene Campos Pereira wins a bronze medal for Brazil.